Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'm sharing with you the third out of the four new eyeshadow palettes from Nip and Fab. This one is called It's a Vibe. You can really see that uh, snakeskin print there on the palette and this one is bright orange and then when you turn it over you can see the eyeshadows there and the names of course and the names are only on the back they're not on the actual shades or underneath or above the shades as i'll show you in a moment on the inside you don't get a mirror but you do get the name of the palette and of course the brand name nip and fab and then here are those beautiful shades. Now I really do think that the lettering on this one really does reflect the shades inside. You've got those warm tones, those orange tones there, and it is very, very warm, isn't it? So if you do love your warm shades, you're going to love this. Um, but yeah, really, really love the look of this, and I can't wait to actually play around with this and get some of these shades on the eye, so eyes. Okay, now this retails for £20 usually. It's on sale at the moment at superdrug.com or superdrug stores, which is where I pick mine up from. If you do purchase from the Nip and Fab website, these are still their usual price, you know, their regular price of £20. But superdrug, superdrug.com, they are selling them at the moment at a 50% discount. So if you do like this, um, and you can, I would purchase from Superdrug. Okay, so one more look at the actual shades and then I will swatch them for you. Okay, so I'm just going to roll up my sleeve here. And again, I'll go row by row for you. Now I've been really, really pleased um, with the shades themselves, uh, longevity wise. Both palettes so far have really lasted so well on my eyes. So I'm again hoping for good things from this one. Um, I thought I was going to like the uh, movie tone version the most, but actually I really enjoyed yesterday's look. It was much more of a neutral eye look. And for some reason, I just really enjoyed it. Okay, so this is the first row. So there's your first shade, it's a matte and it's called Seeing Red. Um, let me just have a look. This is the <laughs> difficulty with actually um, not having the, the names underneath the shades. I can't see if it's a shimmer so much in the viewfinder. So yeah, the first one is definitely matte. The second one looks matte as well, and that one is uh, Boss Lady. Then we have our first shimmer called Bite. You can definitely see that clearly. And then we have Sunday, which is a neutral brown. And then we have our last shade, just Peachy. So again, I'm gonna have to look at that. That looks matte. Okay, so there's your first row. So moving on to the second row. I've gone the wrong way. I want to start the same side as before. And I think I'm going to follow that on. That's a beautiful shade. I think I'm just going to be able to fit them all on, just about. There we go. Okay, so moving on to the second row. So we start off with this one here. So this one is called Poppin, and that is matte. The next is a shimmer called Eyes On Me one there then we move on to another matte called transition then we have dreams with a z which is a shimmer and the last shade is a matte and that is called softly so there is the whole palette and i must say with this palette um, the shades really do swatch absolutely beautifully um, and I've mentioned it, I think, in yesterday's video, a lot of the times I always have to say to you, you know, um, just go 
for the swatches or look at the swatches just for the actual shades um, it's how they apply but actually these ones really do swatch very very well there's no fallout there's no crumbling with the shimmers uh, the shimmers within these palettes are all very very smooth I absolutely love them now of course with my hair like this I'm going to have to put my headband in okay so let's move on to the look itself and what am I going to start off with I think I'm going to have to start off with a peachy shade and I'm going to be using of course the Primark PSI contour I think I'm going to go in with this shade here called transition that one there so we'll start off with that one and see how we get on again they crumble a little bit a little bit of kick up um, when you put your brush in um, this time I'm using or I haven't set the eye so we're, again I'm doing a little bit of mixing and matching of that yesterday I set the eye the day before I didn't um, so we'll see and I've also found across the board so far that these transitional shades these less um, pigmented or supposedly supposedly less pigmented shades um, they really do pack a punch on the eye so even though they're meant to be you know base shades or transitional shades um, they work really really well and that one is beautiful very peachy gorgeous I like how they've given us um, you know the shadows that I particularly need to create a look you know you've got your light shade you've got um, or your base shade you've got a deeper shade then you've got your shimmer because I need at least three kinds of shades to create the looks that I like to create and I think also you could get away with that one just for setting the eye um, perhaps if you don't go quite you know too hot you know too high if you've got um, quite a pale skin tone so I'm just building it up to see how this one layers and again it layers beautifully I'm just going to put that one underneath the lash line as well So it shows up beautifully, you know, on its own. So really, really like that. Put something on my lash there. So that's the first shade laid down. Now, of course, I want to go deeper. I'm going to build that up with Boss. Is it Boss Lady? No. Yeah, is it Boss Lady? Yeah, it is Boss Lady. Which is that one there. So again, going in with the same brush. This one isn't or hasn't got as much kick up as the first one. A little bit disappointing, that shade. I thought it was going to show up, but it doesn't show up that much. And also it's not a pinky brown. This is the one I'm using and it's it's just coming off you know orange and I'd have preferred it to be a little bit more browner than that but we'll see it's blending beautifully with the first shade and I'm gonna just pop that underneath as well okay I'm going to go into this one here now, that deep brown, and that one is called Sunday, as in S-U-N-D-A-E, like the ice cream Sunday. And then I'm really going to just deepen up that crease. Mm. Gonna get my fluffy brush. This is a 251 eye increase contour brush. Just going to blend that out. I've also got a tiny little bit of fallout there. 
Um, going into that Sunday shade again. I mean, it's not bad. I was hoping that that was going to be less orangey than it is because what I really don't like is those really, I don't like too orange eye. I like it to be, I like the orange to be in the background and then neutralize it a little bit with a, a, a deeper shade. Um, actually it's working better on that side. Let me just put <laughs> throwing my brush around. Okay, uh, for some reason it keeps going up there even though I'm putting it on the crease. So, <laughs> wow, I caught that. That was good, wasn't it? Right, try again. Just keep it in the crease. Yep, I've managed to salvage that. And that's better. It's given me a little bit of intensity, but this is as dark as the palette goes. Um, it doesn't go any darker. So if you would like a nice daytime appropriate look, then this palette may work for you if you also like those warm tones. But obviously you could pull in a deeper shade from another palette, but that is as deep as it goes, as in, you know, shade. I suppose um, this palette would be good if you're a beginner because you just can't, you know, overdo it with the depth. Um, still blending in very, very nicely, um, you know, all the shades together. Okay, so those are the mattes laid down. Um, I really actually, enjoy that. I could, if I want to, bring in a brown from another palette, but for a daytime look, and if you are a beginner and you don't want to overdo the depth, that would work very, very well. Hmm. And if you don't like um, too much, you know, um, deep, too many deep colours, this is going to work for you as well because that one there, that Sunday shade, is the de deepest that it goes. Okay, now for the shimmer on the eye. Um, okay, I really want to use this shade which is called Eyes On Me, which is the second shade on the uh, second row. So I'm going to use that with my finger. Um, I must say that um, none of the shades that I've used have uh, gone hard pan and that is, I think, a standout shade. That is absolutely beautiful. That is gorgeous. I'm going to pop it on the other side as well. That is absolutely beautiful, that shade. Very intense. You can really build up that sheen. Wow, that is that gorgeous. Okay, I'm just going back in with my uh, first brush. Going back into Sunday, just to deepen out that outer V there. That shade is beautiful, eyes on me. I think I'm going to use that all the way around the eye. Um, this technique, if you, if you can use the same shimmer shade on the lid on the inner corner, it elongates the eye um, if your eye shape is a little bit more rounded. Oh, such a beautiful shade. I can't really describe it. <laughs> I suppose it's like a peachy bronze. 
works very well with a brush as well as finger um, but yeah love that love that shade so so much so I think that's the eye look complete with the eyeshadow I'm just going to apply a little bit of eyeliner and of course it's the same as always the revolution smoky waterproof gel liner Um, also, I would like to um, just mention that if there's anything that you're interested in seeing on my channel, then obviously let me know. Of course, mascara, the uh, mascara revolution. Yeah, I'd love any of your uh, video ideas. I did actually share two videos yesterday. Uh, one was a nip and fab um, skincare haul and also the second eyeshadow palette, the nude version, which I loved. But I think these palettes are quite understated. You know, they're not in your face and I must admit, I've really enjoyed so far all of the palettes, but mostly I really, really enjoyed the nude version yesterday. And I know, um, you know, we've talked all week about um, the price of them being £20, but at the moment there is an option to pick them up for half price. So £10 is what I would say is an average palette from Revolution. So, you know, I would say that for these, the quality that you're getting, um, you know, is, is very good for £10. Okay. So I'll just take my hair down now. The lipstick um, is from Revolution and it will be down below as well as the rest of my makeup. But that is my makeup look for today. Um, that lid shade, wow. If you love your warms, you're going to love this. It's a vibe palette. Um, that shade there, um, eyes on me, outstanding. Beautiful. I mean, I think a lot of the shades in there, that one there as well, will be the same formula called Bite. That one there, gorgeous, absolutely stunning. I'm so pleased that I picked these up. It's nice to try something different, um, you know, from a different brand and I'm very, very pleased. Love it, absolutely love it. Again, I've got to walk the puppies in a little while. So again, I'm going to look very glamorous on my little walk. So I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope you are enjoying this um, little series of new palettes from Nip and Fab. Like I say, it's, um, it's something a little bit different that I'm trying, but if you would like to see something else on my channel, I would love it if you commented down below and let me know what you're interested in seeing and perhaps you never know, I may be sharing that soon. So obviously all video ideas, very, very welcome as well as your feedback on what I've shared with you today. And as always, if you've just stumbled across my channel, I would love it if you stuck around to subscribe to watch further videos. So I've got one more palette and that one has some brights in it so i'll be sharing that with you tomorrow and until tomorrow thank you so so much for watching thank you bye